And here it is, the TRX4 Bronco kit. I finally got it finished. If you watched the build series, uh, you saw the different steps, everything to get this piece together. Overall though, just an awesome kit. Uh, had a blast building it. Just very simple. So the body is the Bronco body, of course. It's the complete kit. Uh, it does cost $160 off of Traxxas.com, which is pricey. Uh, comes with two sets of stickers, the red and the sunset. Uh, that's kind of the orange look. With the kit, you also receive the front push bar. And you get the rear spare tire uh, and carrier, as well as you get the chrome bumpers for the front and the back. All the moldings are included, the mirrors, uh, the windshield wipers, and the headlights. For the wheels, I went with the Incision uh, Method bead locks. These are on BF Goodrich uh, crawler tires. Overall, I thought the look of these were awesome and I thought it would complement the truck pretty nicely. The front diff cover, the rear diff cover, I opted to go with the chrome. Uh, I think it cost me like four or five bucks uh, for each one, but uh, the kit comes with the gray plastic. So I went ahead and got the chrome uh, diff covers. So putting together everything, it, it was very simple. Uh, the directions were incredible. Laid out by the bag uh, that contained the parts. So for example, the transmission bag, all the parts needed to complete the transmission were all in the transmission bag. The kit has metal gears, all bearings. I have heard some complaints about the uh, bearing for the transmission, uh, either being a wrong gear or the wrong bearing that comes with the kit. I had no issues. Uh, my transmission went together no problem. It's actually one of the first steps, uh, so I realized right away that I was in good shape. And the hardware is exact. Uh, the screws they give you it's the exact amount of screws that you need, so you don't have to worry about being short on hardware, but you're not going to walk away with anything extra. All of the links are pre-assembled, which I appreciate because I hate building links. Uh, so these were all pre-assembled, and no problem to, uh, to put on, as well as the shocks. The shocks, for the most part, are put together, uh, add some 30 weight oil, and they were good to go. All of the electronics are included, uh, so I did use all stock electronics, 21 turn reverse turn motor. The uh, XL5 HV ESC. I was worried about assembling the rear and front locking diffs, but the servos were already set up with the servo savers on them with a the spring. Uh, really, it was just a matter of uh, putting them in the harness the correct way and then just running the cable um, up and, and snapping them on. It was really simple actually, so uh, nothing, to, nothing to be intimidated about. The tires that come with the kit are I guess pre-assembled. The only thing you would need to do is put some glue on them. I'm not using these uh, for the kit, so I'm not going to worry about it. And the bumper that comes with the kit is actually the Defender bumper. Uh, bumper, The bumper you would find on the Defender or Tactical. Uh, but I went ahead and used the bumpers that come with the Bronco kit. The only other change I guess I really made to the kit itself was I used uh, the Cal RC Utter Butter. I prefer to use the Utter Butter for all my rigs. Even the RTRs I take apart and kind of re-grease with the uh, utter butter but uh, yeah if you watched the build you saw me slather this stuff on so so for the negatives uh, I don't know you might think I'm lying but I really don't have any negatives um, everything went together super easy I had zero issues um, there was no point where I got frustrated or you know parts weren't going together the right way everything went together really simple overall I think it's a, an excellent kit I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wanted to build a kit. Um, I know some gripes about the electronics and all being included, but you know what? Convenience, uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, this is ready to go. I don't have to worry about ordering any extra motors or you know, a separate ESC. This thing is ready to go out of the box. My other TRX4s have the uh, Tekken RX4, and I also have the Mamba X in two of them, my Defender and other Bronco. But uh, I'm going to use this ESC use this motor. Uh, it's perfectly capable. It's actually a great system. So there's really no reason to upgrade um, right off the bat especially. I just don't really have much luck with these XL5s. I burned like two or three of them out. Uh, my fault, but um, that's what I get for tinkering. So that's about it guys. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the build. I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, if you hung in for the whole video, uh, my beadlock struggles continue. Trax has put out these satin uh, aluminum rings on the website, so I ordered them right up. 
and uh, they actually had a four in parentheses, so I'm thinking there's four rings, right? Four tires? Yeah, not so much. Uh, each tire needs two rings, so four rings is only good for two wheels. So I got two done and two not done. I uh, have the other rings on order. When they come in, I'll put them on. But anyway, thanks for sticking in there. See ya.